Marie Osmond at midnight. Okay, so no, <laughs> this is what we're going to do now because we only have a couple items left in this fall holiday show. We are going to bring you something to tackle fall gardening, weeding, and kind of like flower bed cleanup. It's going to take us on a very long journey all the way to Japan for a stainless steel tool that is a weeder by a company that you know, Sunjo, but really a technique that they use. And it's a proven winner because I'll tell you, they have some of the most manicured, gorgeous Japanese gardens in that part of the world. So it does beg the question though, um, who is this by? And Nancy Brandmuller, I am told that this debuted in spring of this year because they're mm -hmm. too big outdoor garden season cleanup situation, spring right. and fall. Yep. I heard it sold out. Yes, exactly. This is such an awesome tool. And this is by Nisaku, which is a company out of Japan. And the reason why that's important is, first of all, they have this precision milled blade, which is made out of stainless steel, and it's also corrugated. But they know their tools. You think of the Japanese gardens and how precise and beautiful they are. That's because they have professional tools. And that's what you're getting here. It's going to make your gardening and your weeding easier. Easier. So one of the things that's fabulous about this is this long handle that allows you to do the weeding from standing up as well as that corrugated edge. So I'm going to show you these weeds are ones that I got out of my garden yesterday before I came in here so that I could show you this demonstration. And it only took me a couple of minutes to go out there. So I'm going to take the pointy end and I'm going to push it down into the ground and then I'm just going to pry backwards. And what that does is it gets your root all all of this out roots and all so that that weed is not going to come back so i'm going to show you again i'm just going to press it in now if you have hard soil and you need to give it an extra little push with your foot you can that corrugated edge is going to help get in there and get your weed all together at the roots now if you have weeds up against the edges so maybe you have you know, planters, or you have a garden edge, then what you're going to do is just kind of tip it like this, and you're gonna be able to pop that weed out. Again, the key, Sean, is to get it out with the roots and all, so then you're not going to see that weed growing back. Okay, but wait, it gets better. Granted, the easy pay on your screen, this is yeah. very familiar to me. We have stone brick paths. We my family had them also growing up and so you get this it's amazing that greenery can grow through cement i know look at that so most of the time when people have these pavers and bricks they're getting on their hands and knees or sometimes they're using a spray and the sprays are not great because look at that it just came right out the sprays are not great because you're spraying it and then what do you have? A whole bunch of brown weeds yeah. kind of in there. And you still have to get on your hands and knees. Or maybe you're someone that has this moss and it's growing. Or you're using your butter knife or your screwdriver to get in there. But look at how easily it just came out. Or you can also, another technique is to just kind of lay it flat and to scrape it off. And I can do that because where's the, let's see, I want to make sure to show there you. There you go. This is angled. You notice that this blade is angled from the handle here. That's what allowed me to lay it down flat. I'll show you again, lay it down flat here and be able to scrape. So see, I'm scraping that moss right off of there. That's what allows me to do that. So Can I try? Cool. Oh, absolutely. All right, hold on. You said use the corner. Yeah, you just kind of dip in there. Dip in. Right, give it a little push and kind of lean it back. And then you're just... And it's out by the root. Look at that. Oh, wow, maybe I can garden. Of course you can. Because you know, the root thing, I do know, it's really funny, my dad is here with me for mm -hmm. a while and he was out literally pulling weeds today. He was so proud, he came inside and said, well, I took care of some of those weeds for you. Right. And um, it's key to get them out from the root, but right. it's really hard to do it. Cause like a lot of times when I use my fingers to grab them, yes. the few times that I have, you they break off in my hand right at the, oh. At Absolutely. the base, so like it doesn't come out from the root. So I'm guessing that hardy stainless steel and just the physics or the momentum of the long handle, mm -hmm. it, it sends the pressure up underneath the roots and out. Exactly, because you're just kind of tipping and you're just using that as leverage to get that out. Now also look at this technique too. You can use it kind of to chop oh, away. Maybe brush. you went on vacation and this is why it's important this time of year. It's hot. It's rainy, so guess what's happening? Those weeds are just taking over. You come back from vacation and you think, wait a minute, where do my flowers go? I've got tons of weeds. So this is going to help you. And if you need to do that chopping action, and then you go ahead and do the prying, you can do that. So there's so many different ways. Just go outside and start experimenting. In fact, 
I even went outside and had some crabgrass in my grass. And I decided I'm gonna give this a try. And I put the point in, in the middle of the crabgrass and I started spinning it like this and I was able to get the weed out. So just go ahead and go out in your garden, take this with you. By the way, I think we have what, 800 remaining or 800 sold? E, oh, 800 sold or 800? 800 remaining, that's it. This always sells out. It does, because it's such a great tool. It is made so beautifully. Oh, another really important thing. How many times do you get tools and the handle is raw wood? Nisaku made this a varnished handle so it's comfortable, it's really nice and smooth, and this is so much easier to store in your garage than a power tool. I just love this tool because it makes easy work out in the garden so that you have nice, precise, beautiful, clean flower beds, and ever importantly, in between your pavers and bricks. I'm kind of loving it. It's an awesome tool. Um, okay, girl. Yes. That's what I have to say about that. <laughs> um, thank you. Thank you. We started with 1,400 of these, fewer than 500 to go around, and fewer than 10 minutes left in this show. So I've got to go and bring you our final item. It is going to take us indoors, even though we were just outdoors. Stay on the phone lines, by the way, for um, the garden tool we just brought you. 200 already ordered of our Barbara King. They are sandstone figurines harvest themed, illuminated, gorgeous.